vampire. Are you afraid? No. You won't hurt me. Ho ho ho! It's your boy Sean. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you're having an awesome time, whether it be your family, your friends, your loved one, or by myself, like me. <laughs> Eating, shopping, playing video games, doing what you want at the end of the year, just having a very, very good time. Lizzo review. So this bad boy was caught in the middle of that previous awesome balance patch. He got buff. This skill is gonna be a multi hit five times according to his HP status. So it's like Julie, you want him to be at optimal HP when he do his skill. So when you put him in a cleave team, you either want to go first or you should be in a position where the enemy target could not do damage to him. Have a lot of shield rune when you play with this guy. The damage also increase as the enemy HP status decrease because it is a multi head. The enemy HP gonna go down slowly, and as it go down slowly, the damage increases. Weaken his second skill bring a very powerful debuff kit, especially for Giant's B10. But for today, I'm running him on Rage Will Attack, Quick Damage Attack to give him a try to see how much damage he can do. I also want to compare him to Alicia damage output on the same build. I also want to compare him to Julie on the same build. But it is not fair because Julie has max skill up. So maybe I'll come back to this comparison when I max Lizo skill. Let me know if you want to see. Killing Wave. Let's pay attention to the damage increase when the enemy HP status decrease. The IC 8,000 increased to 13,000. That is a big increase. Now let's check out the second skill damage, Weaken. Boom, 54,000. Oh, that's some sexy damage right there. Not bad. Second skill. All right, we are back here to see how much damage can Frost Rust do. This skill also got buff. Chance to stun, not a bad idea, but not too crazy buff. But let's see the damage on, wow, we do like 10, 16,000 per hit, man. And you need to take into consideration that Alicia's third skill can lead to Alicia's second skill, Storm of Midnight. Let me show you, boom, 36,000, 36. That is almost as good as the third skill. And these guys have no speed. Imagine a team with proper speed stat. The second skill is going to do a lot of damage. One of the places where Lizo can be pretty useful is Giant's B10. Because he's a water element damage during the bring debuff and also AoE skill. So it's not that bad compared to like other popular choice like Sigmarus. It's not that bad. It's not the most optimal, but it's not that bad. I think the Wind Brother is the much better choice if you want a wind damage dealer for Giant Speed 10. But times one, this skill right here is very good for this boss. As I mentioned, you put it on, if you land the stuff, the boss is severely weakened with attack debuff, speed debuff, and also buff block. Let's see the real effect. Okay, I'm going to show you why I said buff block is so important. Right there, the tower was about to buff attack power on the boss. Most of the time, this will cause the team to wipe. But no, 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 no. <laughs> never mind, never mind. I just never mind. He might also be a decent frontline tank for the fire beast if you don't have Chao, Zhao Lin, or you just want to be edgy and use Lizzo. He has an AoE skill, good for Fire Beast for sure. Also, he has very good HP and defense stats so that he can tank the front line very easily. Even though I don't have any sort of focus on HP or defense stat. He also has skill 1 that can leech a little bit of health. So you don't have to run Vampire set on him. You can run Violent, Rage, Fatal. Trust me, if you really want to focus on him on the front line, just put a little bit more defense like bonus 300 in fire beast water element is so much better and you're gonna be all right okay watch see he doesn't take a lot of damage with that skill 
because he's water element. Oh no, farming guild! Not like this! Okay, let's see some real damage. We have the armor break on all the fire guys. I'm expecting the killing wave to kill Laika immediately. Times one, let's go. 6,000 increased to 8,000. Immediately send Laika to the Shadow Realm. Oh baby, the new multi-hit against Laika defense. If you want to use one. Also buff block works well against Cayman. So you can see the difference in terms of defense that from the Feynman Doggo 54,000 to Cayman in real battle 32,000. And this Cayman is not like Guardian Cayman. It's just a normal, your average Joe Cayman. And you know what? I'm gonna bring in Cayman. Yeah? Let's go. You have the best fire damage dealer in the game. I bring you the best counter to that thing. Okay, you're not gonna do anything to me. I need to kill your boy Tyrannus. So everything I do is just gonna be on your boy. Stun. He'll block anything. He'll block. Good. Wild blow. The AI of these guys are not good on defense. See, he got transformed to do a better wild blow on my unit, but no, he didn't. He chose not to do that, and that is a bad move, okay? I think he's gonna transform. Still no transformation. And he's gonna die anytime soon if he doesn't do anything about that. And he's dead. The best counter to Tyrannus is Tessarion, because you can't one-shot him with conventional one-shot team. Due to its passive, give him like double revive, triple revive, multi and time revive, I don't know. It's very annoying. But with, with Tessarion, you can take that Tyrannus back and make hot pot steamboat with that ish. Have you guys ever eaten bear meat? Or is it something I shouldn't talk about right now? Like PETA is gonna knock on my door? Okay, let's strip that immunity away, boy. Let's do this. Come on, let me see some real damage, shall we? Times one, killing wave. All right. Oh, not bad, but we couldn't kill Rakan though. Like, I expected to kill Rakan. For a unit to have two conditions for a skill to do big damage, I expected to kill many things. Bad, man. No, don't touch my Lizzo. Oh my god, I need him to add optimal conditional. Don't touch Lizzo, okay? Um, Let me do some damage on her damn, just to make sure that I'm gonna kill him with my killing wave. Nice stun, nice damage, and killing wave. Let's go, baby. Wow, we get from 7,000 to 10,000 on that hoar. My expectation is for this boy to clean this defense in one hit. Uh-oh. Oh, no! No! Shit, what do I do? Weaken this boy. Oh, no! We couldn't... <laughs> what do you mean you let armor break on my one unit that doesn't have will runes? What do you mean? <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> I'll try better next time using Lisa, okay? He's gonna be our new favorite show host toy on Sean B YouTube channel as a water damage dealer. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Happy holidays. I hope you're having a fine, crazy time enjoying this holiday season. And I'll see you guys in the next video.